everyone! Welcome to the channel dedicated to sharing the profound insights and wisdom of Andromedan contactee Alex Collier. If you're new here, you're in for a journey that expands your mind and consciousness, bringing you closer to understanding the messages from the fifth density Andromedan extraterrestrials. For those returning, we're grateful for your continued support. Before we dive into today's enlightening content, we have a small favor to ask. If you find value in the knowledge shared in this video, please consider hitting that like button, subscribing to our channel, and clicking the bell icon so you never miss an update. Your engagement helps us amplify Alex Collier's message, allowing us to reach a larger audience with these vital messages. We'd also love to hear from you, so please engage with the comments below. Whether it's a question, your thoughts, or even just an emoji for the sake of engagement, every comment counts. We read every single comment, and your feedback is incredibly valuable to us. Additionally, if you'd like to support us further, consider giving a super thanks tip by clicking the heart with the dollar sign. This small gesture allows us to continue bringing you more of Alex's messages, unfiltered and directly from his lifelong experiences with the Andromedans. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video. Can you confirm that all malevolent ETs have been evicted from Earth, leaving their satanic minions without any support to complete planetary genocide in their new world order? Oh, question two. Can humanity also rely on benevolent ETs to help evict demonic entities possessing these evil minions to hasten their demise? Yes, I can confirm that. We still have some Nephilim who are hybrid human beings, Terrans, with something else. There's still some of those on the planet or in the planet. Um, but we do have demonic clone attachments that we still have. Now, will the benevolence help? They have been helping. That's the reason we're still alive. Uh, the infiltration of Earth was well into the 90 percentile before they stepped in. And they have been able to roll it back in, a, in an amazing amount of time with most of humanity not even having a clue. And we should be deeply, deeply appreciative for their assistance. But understand that a great deal of heavy lifting that's coming will have to be done by us, by humanity. And that's cleaning up the mess. And that's picking up the pieces. That's rebuilding are not only our communities, but our countries and our civilization. We're going to have to do all that. We will get insight. We will be given knowledge and wisdom. Uh, we will be shown ways to reinvent or, um, yeah, reinvent some of the technology we already have and have been using. In other words, show us ways. They will show us ways to not only make it better, but more, um, uh, versatile to turn things around for humanity but we're going to have to do the heavy lifting and that's just the way it should be actually i mean it, it is our civilization right and that shows them a commitment um and i mean we should want to do this for our own, right? We should want to do this for our own. Because that's the way it's done. Out there, that's the way it's done. And if they didn't think we were going to do this, why would they even bother? We'd probably already be completely locked down, you know, uh, Millions and millions of us would already be dead had they not intervened, uh, along with uh, the White Hat military. And just, I should just say White Hats, because they're not all military. 
but they couldn't do it alone. They had to have some help. You know, they weren't going to remove some of the regressive Anunnaki, the reptilians, the greys, some of the other life forms that were here, um, especially those in the jungles of Southeast Asia who were off by themselves, but, um, you know, somebody needed to communicate them and saying, look, you're leaving. We'll take you home. That kind of thing, which is what was done. It's not that they were regressive. They were in survival here in remote parts of the jungle because they wanted nothing to do with humanity. So, but they didn't have a ride home, you see. They were given a ride home. So there's a lot, there's an awful lot to this that most of humanity doesn't know anything about. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you found it insightful, please like the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss out on future updates. If you have any questions relating to today's video, please also leave them below. We read all the comments and take on board what our viewers have to say about Alex Collier's work. Remember, your support helps Alex Collier's knowledge and the messages from the Andromedans reach more people. If you'd like to support the channel even more, you can give us a super thanks tip by clicking the heart icon with a dollar sign. It really helps our team bring you more content. Also, be sure to visit alexcollier.org to sign up for our regular email newsletter. It's the best way to stay updated with the latest news, exclusive content, and upcoming live webinars. For the latest insights from Alex Collier, check out alexcollier.live. And if you want to explore over 250 past webinars, head over to alexcollier.tv. Thank you for being a part of this journey and supporting Alex Collier's work. We couldn't do this without you and we're genuinely grateful for your support. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the vast mysteries of our universe. If you would like to see the Andromedan contactee Alex Collier live via video stream, we hold a live online seminar every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. For more information on upcoming live webinars, please visit alexcollier.org.